Well, all right, guys, the holiday season is approaching rapidly, and I got a pretty cool project to kick things off. So Chad over at Turner's Warehouse has set up a charity event benefiting St. Jude's Children's Hospital, and it's a pretty cool little event that he's set up. Basically, you just make a Christmas ornament, send it to Chad, and then they're going to auction them off, and all the proceeds from the auctions are going to go to St. Jude's. Pretty awesome. We get to get in the shop, make something, and we also get to help out St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Uh, really awesome thing that Chad has set up, and I'm excited to get on this. So for my ornament, we're going to make a blank out of Alumalite, add a little red, white, and green, Christmas it up a little bit, turn it on the lathe, and then get it sent down to Chad so we can hopefully raise some money. Uh, one other thing that I'm going to add to this project that I just got sent to me from Stainless Bottle Stoppers, their new decorative loop. It's a stainless steel kind of just a little nub thing, you know, like end, that'll add a little interest to the other end of, you know, handled projects. And it has a hole in it so you can kind of hang your, you know, tool or whatever it may be on the wall. I thought, hey, I'm going to use one of these things and we can get our little you know loop to, to hang the, the hook on so it should be pretty fun let's get over to the casting area and start making our blank Three hours later. Well, all right, guys, we got our blank ready to rock. It's squared and ready to be drilled and tapped for threads. And that's how I'm going to mount it, similar to a bottle opener or a bottle stopper. Just use a, 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 a mandrel like that. I wanted to stop and mention one other thing that they came out with. So let's think about if you were going to make a bottle opener where you had the bottle opener going in one side and then this decorative loop, uh, the, the new product that I'm going to use today, in the other end. So you're going to have to drill and tap threads on both sides, right? And you would be holding your blank with your your mandrel on the one side but you have kind of a threaded hole on the other now you could bring up a, a 60 degree tailstock you know live center 
but you know that can kind of mess up the threads a little bit and so i wanted to mention that uh, stainless bottle stoppers also came out with something kind of cool it's another little mandrel that you would screw in the other side of your blank uh, where the the decorative loop would go so the the end and it's all set up for the right you know diameter uh, bushing type thing kind of like a pen kit but on the end it's got a 60 degree cone in there so that your live center can come up and hold the blank center to center uh, without slippage so it's pretty cool if you're going to be doing something like that where there's you know threads on both ends and you're going to put the decorative loop on the end of the handle they also have this little mandrel that is a pretty awesome idea so i just wanted to stop and mention that so uh, we don't need to do that on this one. We're just going to put threads on one end and the decorative loop is going to be the business end in a sense. So let's get it mounted on the lathe, drill it, and then start turning it.
All right, guys, we got it all finished up. It was a really quick, easy, fast, fun project. Uh, really happy with how the decorative loop turned out. That was perfect for this, you know, for this use. Uh, obviously, pretty good idea for the end of like a bottle opener that you can just kind of hang on the wall, that type of stuff. Uh, but for an ornament, it was a pretty cool little piece of kit that you can just add to the top, adds a little bit of shiny to it, and uh, pretty cool. So big thank you to Chad for organizing this event. There's still plenty of time for you to get out in the shop, make an ornament, and get it entered. I actually kind of forgot to mention, there's also a giveaway going on. Uh, Turner's Warehouse is going to be giving away three prizes for first, second, and third, uh, based on, I don't know exactly what criteria, but there's some prizes uh, up, up for grabs. So pretty cool on that side of things. But again, uh, you know, you can just get out there, find any kind of piece of scrap wood, turn an ornament out of it and get it sent in. And uh, they're going to be auctioned off and all that money is going to St. Jude. So I really hope that everybody can get out there, make something and get it over to Chad. Uh, the critical date is you need to know, uh, the critical date you need to know is November 15th is when Chad has to have your ornament in hand. Uh, to get everything going with it, to get the auctions going. So make sure that you get something, you know, made, get it sent and get it to, to Phoenix, Arizona. That's where Turner's Warehouse is by the 15th of November. It's a couple of weeks, so you got plenty of time. Get out there, get creative uh, and have some fun with it. So I will link down below to the, the post where, where all the information, there's a couple of different little rules like uh, it has to, you know, be kind of a certain dimension. There's, there's like a max size uh, and all that kind of stuff. So I'll have all of that information. It'll be linked down in the show notes below. Uh, and then for the auctions, I don't exactly know everything about that either. Um, but on social media, I will be kind of posting stuff. I'm trying to kind of keep an eye on things uh, so that I can kind of pass on information to everybody that follows me and make sure that we're raising as much money as possible for, for this event. So again, I'll have all the information and links that you need down in the show notes below. If I missed anything while I was talking i'm sure i did uh but again there's a post that chad lays out everything on facebook so i'll have that linked up for sure uh, and it'll have all the information that you need so i hope you guys enjoyed this project and i hope that you guys get out in the shop and make a cool ornament and get it sent in as well so we can help raise as much money as possible for this awesome cause so until next time guys thanks for watching this video and happy casting